Hello. My name is Ted. <clears throat> I am a squid, and I make videos about whatever. Lately, it's been a lot of cubivore, but uh, I promise there's more stuff coming out. I, I promise, I promise. So I, I still love this game, and I've still been uh, looking through the walkthrough and making more notes about what we're supposed to eat and in what order we're supposed to eat them. I think I'm actually following the walkthrough pretty well. I, I've only made one mistake, one, one thing that wasn't perfect. And there's, there's the big guy. We're, uh, we're gonna get him. I, you know, eventually we're really gonna... Let me turn my audio on. There we go. What, what a game. How are you doing? I'm, uh... Well, I'm doing all right. So I uh, just just to remind you the, uh, the the three the three rules of our stream chat: uh, always be excellent, uh, have fun, and no giraffes. If you're a giraffe, just get out. No giraffes. Let's see. There we go. I can actually start the game now that I've cleared out the giraffes. So I'm I'm king of 22 cubivores. Um, according to the walkthrough, I could be 23 cubivores, but I think, I think we'll do fine. You know, 20, 22 out of 23, that's perfect enough. It's good enough for Grizzly Ted. So, I'm, I'm Grizzly Ted, Ack. Ack, I've been reborn, Ack. A fresh start. I'm a bear? Well, time to begin mutating again. I'm Grizzly Ted. What a... What a game. So, here I am. I, I've got some stuff written down about uh, what cubivores we're supposed to eat and uh, in what order, but I've also got some other stuff I wanted to talk about. Um, my last, oh, oh, there's a, there are paths every, dir which direction? Oh, it shows you this path first so that you can go over here and, and of course there's a cutscene to tell me that I'm not allowed to go through. What a, what a game. Well, I guess it's just gotta keep showing me weird stuff and, and keep, keep, keep shaking me up. Um, so while I am now Grizzly Ted, I wanted to briefly talk about another video I released right lately as a talking squid. I swear I've been to this place before, but it's a little bit different. Well, the last time I was here, I was a, uh, a pig, and now I'm a, a grizzly. My last talking squid video was about uh, a, a robot that I was working on, inspired by a professor at the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology. Oh, let me get these bugs. Uh, bears? Bears need bugs, too. If you send someone an email, a lot of the time they just ignore the email. <clears throat> But I send emails that start, Hi, I read your book, and I made a talking squid video about it. Pigs! Pigs, pigs, pigs! It's like deja vu, because I was, of course, Piggy Ted for three generations, and now these, these guys are all pigs. So I, I, can, I can send an email to someone that said, Hey, I read your book, and I made a talking squid video about it. And that's... That's a, a weird power I've got. Uh, the, the, uh, the walkthrough says I can eat any of these guys if I care to, but I don't have to. Because, uh, remember, uh, hold on, let me, let me go to the bestiary. We've already unlocked all these guys. We're, we're king of all these cubivores. So it doesn't really matter, uh, whether we eat these people or not, because they don't, they don't have anything to teach us anymore. But I feel like I've got a lot to learn from uh, OIST and OIST. And uh, so I'm glad that I can send emails to people in different countries and just say, hey, uh, watch this talking squid video. These, these pigs, I, I never noticed this in the game. They don't attack. The, these pigs are just leaving me alone. Maybe, do they, do they recognize that I was a pig? Or, or, or are they just scared of me because I'm a giant grizzly bear? What, what, a, what a game. 
When I was when I was a pig, I had a square, a, a cubic head. My head was a cube. So I, I still have a cubic head. My head is a cube. When I was a pig, my head was a cube. These pigs don't have cube heads. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave these guys. They, these guys can survive. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave them. So I'm the 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 walkthrough warns me I'm about to find a dark yellow person, and I should eat them. I'm gonna eat a dark yellow person. Coming right up. Let's let's find out. Oh, well I also have to roll around for a while. I, I've done this one before. I oh I'm about to get I think I'm about to get a scar. I'm gonna get some scar points. Oh oh oh, this is hard. You know, it's a hard, complicated game with all these scar points. There, oh, I made a, I made a whole loop around. I'm sure the, the next time, well, I'm, I'm gonna have so many loops all the way around this scar point generator. What a game! So I've got a scar now. Um, I, I, I was rolling around in a bowl and I got a scar, and my defense level went up. That's, that's what, that's what cubivores really want, is to have bodily injuries. So I've been making talking squid videos and sending them out to people. I actually got one of my <laughs> videos that's done the best, and one of my favorite videos, is about, um, oh, here's, here's the dark yellow person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this guy. <laughs> one of my best doing videos was uh, about Godelesh Rabak, uh, An Eternal Golden Braid, which is a book by a person I really like, uh, Douglas Hofstadter. Uh, I really liked his books, Godelesh Rabak, which I talked about, and um, I Am a Strange Loop, which I've also talked about very briefly in another video about spirals in anime. Um, once my channel got about a hundred people subscribed to it, I kind of... I was confident enough to email Douglas Hofstadter and say, Hey, I made this Talking Squid video about your book. And I didn't really expect him to uh, uh, respond to my video, but he, to, my, uh, to my email, but he did. I mean... Man, that's a, that's a sad scream right there. He sent me an email saying that he watched the video and he liked it and he was glad to see someone animate such a thing based on on their book. I think that's one of my my favorite videos that I've made. So I, I guess well first of all I'm I'm this uh, dark yellow thing so now I've got, I've got three three squares here and I'm allowed to be the dark the dark yellow. Let me let me cross that off the list. Next is dark blue. Let's see what happens. So I've also been sending emails to people from um, Oist. I, I made a video, um, Zigzag Zen, um, Enter the Void, and Alien Information Theory. And I didn't even realize it at the time, but the person who wrote Alien Information Theory also went to OIST, Oist. I don't, I don't like being this blue thing. Oh, oh, I, I can actually, you know, I, all of these different colors have very important properties. So the, the blue guy walks around kind of strange because, because all of the cubivores walk around really strange. So uh, Mr. Blue here uh, has a really long jump in that direction. But in in compensation for that, he rolls around like a like a something. I don't know. Like like something. I've compared things to to snakes in this game. I've compared things to uh, let's see. Okay, it's it's about nighttime. Let's see. Where where do I go? Am I allowed to go in this direction? No. You know, it's been a long time since I've played this game, and, and maybe there are some parts of this map that are just a little bit too complicated for me. But uh, I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can make it through the first 
part of this game. Oh, I, I, I can't run. Poor little Grizzly Ted can't even run. He's a. Uh, he doesn't have the raw meat that he needs to run. So there's a boss around here somewhere. Let me, let me scurry around. You know, I'll, I'll eventually, I'll eventually go where I'm supposed to go. When I edit these videos and put them on YouTube, I can make them perfect. <laughs> I can cut out all the stupid stuff or uh, all my uh, uh, not actually knowing exactly where to go. Where the heck am I going? Oh, okay, here we go. There's the box. So, the head coach beast. So, the Cub Scout, the Boy Scout, the Scout Cub, and now, and now this guy. So, a lot, a lot of bad guys. Um, none of these guys have any color to offer me, so I'm just gonna kill them. And I think I'm gonna call that an episode. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm doing alright. So far, so good. I, 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 I can, uh, I can block if I want to. I, I'm just trying to be very mindful about the, the different capabilities that I, as a QB vor have. I like running away and trying not to die. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I, I'm forgetting. I only have... Here, I'm, I'm back in the oasis. And now I have to go to bed. What a, what a, nice, what a nice time to go to bed. Yawn. I'm tired. Oh, I, I keep skipping this stuff. Like a four-year-old boy might play with some toy. Head coach is too bored to brawl. And that, that's who I'm fighting right now, the, the, the head coach. Oh, and this is Grizzly Ted. So, <laughs> uh, Piggy Ted had the little, the little nose mark. Uh, Grizzly Ted has a foot mark. Even though Grizzly Ted doesn't have any feet. <laughs> he's, got, he's got one limb, and it's a blue one? What, what a game. Okay, let's... I bet I can take these guys down. All right. So I was in the Oasis and now I'm all, all full of health again. I'm gonna, ooh, they're, they're all asleep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat at them. Eat. This is probably not the best way to uh, handle this fight, but it's working. It's working so far. Oh well. <laughs> I say that it's working, and then it immediately stops working. That, that's what it's like to play video games live. That's that's my experience. Okay, so I, I've taken down one of the cronies. The cronies are just gray. The the cronies. The, the, the cronies. Uh, the, the lackeys here. They're not even like gray or anything. They're just they're colorless. Hold on. Get back here. That uh that little timer means that that's about one episode's worth of content, and it also means that I'm distracted. Maybe I should find a, a different way to do this stuff than like starting a timer. Oh okay. I think I can take out this boss and then call that an episode. Oh, oh. I make interesting sounds. <laughs> All right. So I kind of want this guy to pounce at me, but miss and hit the wall. And that'll put him in a bad position. Is he over there sleeping? That, <laughs> what a power move. Okay, here, here he comes. He, he, he won't let me have that love bit. Here we go. Oh dear. Oh, he, he turned around. I can, I can attack him from the back. Okay. He missed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him. Oh, he missed. I'm gonna get him. Oh. So far, so good. This is this is all this is all according to plan, more or less. Okay, so am I gonna 
Am I gonna eat the uh, the raw meat first? No, it looks like I'm gonna I'm just gonna yank a limb off him. So he's he's still got he's got another limb, but now we're tied. But his his limb is a, a good limb. It's one of those those wilderness limbs that has these people stole all the wilderness, and now I'm gonna get the wilderness back. <sighs> Head coach beast defeated. Write that down, guys. Write write that down, squidlings. I I gotta remember to call everyone squidlings. I'm not calling you squidlings. You are squidlings. Come on. So I have the raw meat. I can mate. I can mate. I have obtained raw paw with the raw paw's power. I can dash, so I can I can dash again. And I'm just gonna keep hitting this A button, even if it's loud and annoying. I'm I'm just gonna keep keep doing that. My stomach level went up, which means I can probably eat even more, even better. Uh, but before I go, uh, the, the walkthrough recommends a dark purple somewhere around here. Let me, uh, let me run around looking for a dark purple. I'll bet there's a dark purple guy. Maybe in a mysterious fake wall right here. Oh, would you look at that? A rare species, you know. <sighs> neither of us are particularly dignified, but I'm allowed to feel sorry for this guy, right? <sighs> Just the way he's, he's sort of built up. He's not even attacking me. I I would. <sighs> oh, I got a hundred love bits. <laughs> I'll be big man on the mating grounds. You know, I think I'm going to end the episode right here and, and complete whatever thought I was just thinking next time on Thinkster. Bye-bye. <laughs>